Well, good afternoon, and today is Sunday, uh, June the 9th, and also today is Pentecost, or Shavuot, if you're, um, if you're into tour keeping and all that jazz, but anyway, so today we're going to get into Romans chapter 10, and uh, before we get started, let's pray first. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for this week. Lord, we thank you that you uh, brought us together as as believers in Christ, Lord, and that we pray in the name of Jesus, let your word never turn void. Father, we ask that if, if there's sin in our hearts, God, we ask that you forgive us, Lord. Lord we, Lord, we repent for what we have done, Lord. We ask for your forgiveness and wash us clean by your blood. Help us, Lord, to walk righteously before you, Lord, in all these things, God. We praise you, we glorify you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Alright. Uh, today I'm going to be using the, uh, the English Standard Version today. Um, one second here. So turn with me in Romans chapter ten. So we're we're almost finished reading the whole book now, uh, the whole book of Romans. <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, let's get started, brothers. My heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according in uh, not not according to knowledge, for being ignorant of the righteousness of God and seeking to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. See that there. For Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law. The person who does the commandments shall, shall live by them. But the righteous based on faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, that is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into, into the abyss, that is to bring Christian up from the dead. But who does it say the word is near you in uh, your know, in your mouth and in your heart that is the word of faith that we proclaim because if we so uh, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved Whew. come on y'all for well, with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth of, of uh, sorry, with the mouth one confesses is saved. For the scripture says, anyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no dis the, uh, there is no dis distinction between Jews. In gen uh, sorry, Jews and Greeks. For the same Lord is the Lord of all, bestowing his uh, his riches on all who call on him. Wow. <clears throat> For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? It is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes by hearing, 
and hearing through the word of Christ. But I ask, how they not heard? Indeed, they have, for their voice has gone out to all the world, and their words to the ends of to the ends of the world. Oh, sorry. Um, their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their in their words to the ends of to the ends of the world. But I ask, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation. With a foolish nation, I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who did not ask for me. But of Isaiah, he says, all day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. And that's the end of chapter uh, 10. What we got to learn here? Well, <clears throat> so so in, in context, it talks about Israel needs the gospel. And then the second part talks about the, uh, uh, the Israel... That Israel rejected the gospel. And so my question is. What can we learn. From. Romans chapter 10. Number one. Our heart's desire is to, is to bring Israel. To be saved. Um, I'm, I'm talking about. Um, Non-believers. In general. Uh, because we see. Throughout chapter 10. We see. The only way to be saved is to call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, and also, um, yeah, so, really, we ought to have preachers who are teaching and preaching the truth of the Word of God. And, and, and my calling is to be not only a teacher, but a preacher as well. Um... And, and really, uh, it's, it's you know it's, it's very very true that we got to have the hard desire to bring people to Jesus because that that's that's our goal as believers is to preach the gospel and to make disciples um, you know until the end of, uh, of the world. Um, Yeah, so so we we got to be uh, having a desire to um, to 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 bring to preach the gospel to uh, to to you know every Muslim country, every communistic country, you know you know all these things that we need the gospel for them. Um, uh oh. Sorry about that, folks. Kind of stuck a little bit. Um, number two, those who call, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay, this is salvational because uh, Jesus says He is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no if buts to that at all. We got to understand that God is the only one to be saved. You know, we, we got to tell people about Jesus as much as we can uh, until Christ returns. And, and, and I love um, the notes of this. And, and uh, it, it's, it's very, very important to hear the gospel. Um, you know, uh, Hopefully one day this year I may go to a mission trip either to Durham or 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 in uh, Chapel Hill to minister uh, to you know the the, the poorest neighborhoods that is out there the, the the hood as they call it and preach the good news of Jesus Christ to them 
uh, there will be some gay members going to be there. And uh, we got to preach the gospel to them. And and I and I remember uh, reading, well, uh, you know, today at my church, my pastor read through uh, Acts chapter ten, where where Peter is called to go to the Gentiles' house named Cornelius, and 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 it is a sign that that we got to preach the gospel to both the Jews and you know and the Romans and the Gentiles, as well. And uh, it, it really blessing. Uh, it really bless us to to understand that we got to go closer to God, and we got to have a love for people to share the gospel too. Um, <clears throat> you know, and and also, what would I say? And also, we got to understand that. That you know, there there will be some times that people will reject the gospel, and that we got to pray for them. We got to understand that He is the Lord of all. Last point number three: um, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Uh, preachers, if you listen, if you are watching this. Please be sure that you include a lot of scripture in your messages, in your messages, because I see too much often that that uh, preachers are quoting less scriptures, uh, and, and and that's a dangerous if you if you're going to preach the truth. Um, <clears throat> and, and I try to include as much scripture as I can for references. So that they can look it up or I can read it out loud to them. And so. <clears throat> and so it is very very important for us to understand. That. We ought to. Um. We ought to hear the word of God to 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 really you know to 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 really um come by faith you know and to believe in the word of God and 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 and, and, and apply the word of God into our um into our hearts and to apply them uh, into our lives as well. So. Um, Uh, you know, I know, uh, <clears throat> I know it's gonna be short. Uh, I apologize, but uh, you know, as I close, um, we must pray for Israel, and and to have a hunger for people to come to Jesus. Um, th that is my prayer. That is what we are called. You know, my church, we are a mission, uh, mission sending base. We send out fit outs. Of, of spirit filled uh, agents of local and global transformation and so <clears throat> I am willing you know to quit my job and to be a missionary somewhere Does it, even, even if it's a different state than uh, that I'm living in now or a different city you know everywhere I go I become a missionary everywhere I go I want, I want to, to talk to people about Jesus Christ and, and 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 that is my heart um my heart's desire is to see people come to Jesus so i thank you guys for watching don't forget tonight i'm going to be doing a uh, live stream on a pr uh, the 50 days of prayer and really you know i i truly invite you to come in there and you know you know, you know if you got any prayer requests i'll pray for you uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of teaching tonight as well. So I hope you guys have a great day and may God bless you and I'll see you guys again later.